Hi again, everyone. Today, we're going to talk about uh, a very simple problem from Laplace transforms. So in this example, we're asked to calculate the Laplace transform of this function here. And just remember that the Laplace transform of a function of t is just a, a, an integral transform. And you can see here I've got an exponential times the function g, and we're integrating from 0 to infinity with respect to dt. Now, here t is known as the dummy variable, and so the whole thing here is just going to be a function of s. All right? So usually the notation is the following. Little g of t for the, the function, the original function, and big G of S for the Laplace transform of little g. Now, if you take this and put it in here, it's not so easy to evaluate. So how do we actually work this out? What is the Laplace transform of this? Well, we use tables to help us out, OK? But in order to use tables successfully, we need to break this down into simple parts that we can easily look up. I mean, if you have a big enough table of Laplace transforms, then you can look anything up. But um, usually this is not in the, the simple tables anyway. All right. So notice here that it's, it's an exponential times a function of t. We can use that to um, help us out by way of the first shifting theorem. OK. So we apply the first shifting theorem. We call it the first shifting theorem because there's two, and there's a second shifting theorem. OK, so what is the first shifting theorem? Well, glad you asked. So the first shifting theorem, or the FST, is the following. Suppose I want to take the Laplace transform of an exponential times a function of t. Here a is just some, some number, right? Then it's the following. It's equal to big F of S minus A. So what's big F? Well, big F of S is just the Laplace transform of F of T. OK? So the, the, the sequence of events is recognize that we have an exponential times a function of T. Then we can use the first shifting theorem identify what little f is, here it's cos 3t, calculate the transform of little f, and then shift that transform. Okay, So how does this relate to our problem? Well, a is 2, and little f of t is going to be cos 3t. Okay, so Work out this first, and then we can get, get this, right? OK, so to work out the Laplace transform of this, this is a simple function, and you'll find the transform on any simple Laplace transform table. OK, so from the Laplace transform table, or tables, The Laplace transform of cos 3t, it's just the following. OK? It's s over s squared plus 3 squared. All right? So we've, we found this. All right? So let's, let me just write this as big F of s. Now, we use this notation here because we want to emphasize that we have a function of s. All right, so if big 
f of s is this function, what is big F of s minus a? Well, all we do, we go to big F, f of s and replace s with s minus a, all in brackets. The brackets are important. Okay, so because a is 2, I go over here and replace s with s minus 2 all in brackets. Okay. So, what's our answer? Well, this is the Laplace transform of this. So, by the first shifting theorem, the Laplace transform of e to the 2t cos 3t is this expression here. Okay? So notice the sequence of events. We recognise that we had an exponential function times a function of t. We realised that we could apply the first shifting theorem, which is here. To, apl to apply that, we work out the Laplace transform of this part of the function. Okay? Then we shift it. In this case, we shifted it two units to the right, because you have a minus 2 here. Okay? So, very simple um, Laplace transform question. Uh, the best way to get good at these kinds of problems is just to do a lot of them. Okay? And um, in another video, I'll be talking about the second shifting theorem.